What is going on guys? Apathy back in the building with another video today. Gonna be talking about the insane roster mania that went down yesterday. Now, I am a pro player, so I do read most of the information that you guys do not read. Particularly in the H chat, because you guys aren't a part of the H chat. It's a Skype call, pretty much with all the pros. And they were talking a lot about what went down, and it's pretty much announced. It's pretty much, you know, out there in the public right now. But complexity... It, it was a flipper If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it, it was crazy. So if you remember, complexity used to consist of Aches, Ricky, Accuracy, and Lacefield. Now these were the four players that were on Cole, Complexity, uh, at MLG Orlando, and pretty much not too long ago. And then C9 used to be Havoc, Swarly, Silly, and assault now it was just like a whole flip rooney now c9 is aches lace field ricky and assault like what 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 that is insane i'm speechless aches was a part of complexity and now he flipped to c9 but the oh, it's like the old complexity squad plus assault but moved to a, a different org which is insane and our complexity is parasite havoc llama and swirly so it was like a kind of a flipper rooney and the crazy part was silly was a part of c9 and within like an hour before roster lock you know they did silly dirty he was potentially supposed to join uh, i think complexity but then complexity were like no we want a soul and then and then they were like well we don't want you anymore silly you're out of there and they picked up i guess parasite and llama and then Silly was left without a team. And I just, I, I low key do feel bad that this whole roster mania shit went down this way. You know, if you're wondering, these are gonna be teams for the qualifier for Call of Duty XP or Champs, if you wanna call it like that. And these are the new teams that are being formed. Obviously, you still have Elevate, you have H2K. H2K, I'm pretty sure, is um, it's Miracles for Dito. A lot of you guys know Dito played with them at MLG Orlando, but they picked up Miracles, who was on Complexity, or Mercs, or however you guys want to abbreviate his name, but his name is Miracles. And that's going to be an interesting squad as well to see how they do. And then, of course, you have Next Threat, which is Doug's team. Glad he could find out a team. I remember we were talking at the event. He's like, I'm trying to form a squad for the qualifier for champs. I'm trying to get the best squad possible. He really wanted to try to get Haggy and him on one team and then work his way from there. Other like decide on the other two players, possibly Mox. And you know, with Parasite obviously being a decently high tier player, and he's been playing a lot. And by high tier, I mean compared to most of the players right now, they're free agents. He's a pretty good pickup. You know, I, I told Doug if you could really get him, that would be good. But, you know, Haggy ended up going on complexity, like I said earlier. So now Doug had to form his own team and find some new players. Now, he is on a new school. Well, he made his own team, and he's representing Next Red Black Ops 1 days, and I'm proud of him. But it's going to be Burns, Mox, and Silly. Uh, definitely, I find those three players really underrated, uh, have potential. Uh, I really think he could go far with this team. I don't know who he plays to qualify. I'm pretty sure he's going to have to play one of the top I don't know. I don't think it's complexity or C9 because I believe they play each other. Might be Elevate. If it's not Elevate and it's like one of the other teams, uh, like TK or Panda or whatever other teams, I could possibly see them upsetting the other team and qualifying for champs. But it's going to be hard. He does have a pretty good team. Uh, a lot of you guys know Mox. He's really underrated. He's been, you know, coming up in the community, doing his thing. Uh, Burns has been playing for a while now. He's always that really good OBJ player. Even though Doug and him are kind of like the same players, it's going to be interesting to see what they do. I'm pretty sure Burns might slay more because Doug has always been like that OBJ minded. But it's going to be interesting to see how the team does. Uh, Mox as main AR, Silly as second AR, Burns as uh, third AR plus second sub, and then Doug as main sub. I'm assuming that's how the roles are going to go. And then, of course, you have Allegiance, which is Mochilla, Royalty, Remy, and Exotic. Uh, I think this team could do some work too. Uh, have a lot of talent. Uh, I don't know how much practice they have. I don't know how much chemistry or teamwork or how they've been performing online. I know at LAN they got like T16 or T T20 or something like that, which kind of sucks. But I definitely think this team has potential. Um, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how they do as well. And then, of course, you guys know XTSM, which is Pac-Man, Wheat, and uh, Ivy. Uh, played at MLG Orlando with Burns. I guess things didn't work out and they decided to search for another fourth. And in the end, they picked up Accuracy, which I, I think he's a pretty good player. So that should be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, you know, they have potential. Like, all these teams 
have potential and they have talent and they're not like to totally bad you know like they can do something with these with these squads and these new teams they're forming it's it's been a crazy roster mania obviously like if every team was allowed to make a change we might have seen some more changes i'm not gonna lie uh just because people are sometimes not happy with their team or whatever the case is but with the six teams us rise elevate uh, phase optic and LG being locked in for champs. We obviously can't make any roster changes can't make any roster moves So therefore we're all you know, we're all settled in and then all the other teams try to you know Try to find the best roster for champs or to qualify because they, they still have to go through the online qualifier So it's it's been crazy this whole roster mania, you know all these changes It's been actually like a in, pretty insane roster mania like it, it's been a lot a lot of changes players just moving to other teams other teams moving to other players or switching like it's been pretty crazy but it's i'm pretty happy that most like 99 99 of the players found a home and are going to be competing um i know dito joined i'm pretty sure he joined bittersweet if you guys didn't watch emoji orlando we they ended up going in our pool uh they beat i think doug's team and echo fox to get into our pool so they obviously played pretty well and they played pretty well against us they took one map off us uh, the respawns weren't that close, but I I found like two or three of their players uh, were doing really well for the most part. So they definitely have potential, and I'm pretty sure Dito can try to you know lead them to victory. I know Dito has been always like the type of player that somehow goes all the way down, and he has to play with like amateur players. That's happened to me like once or twice, but I feel like it's happened to him like three or four times already. And then he has to work his way kind of back up, and he he's playing with pretty I think players that probably have potential and sh sh should be interesting to see how they do. So teams like TK, Panda, and all those other top amateur teams will be competing as well, and it's going to be interesting to see how they do. Uh, like I said, most of the teams have potential. A lot of these teams have talented talented players, so it's going to come up to who's practiced more and who's probably more clutch or who has like kind of the more talented team. But overall, I think anyone could be almost anyone in this situation. I'll say the best teams going into this qualifier are probably C9 and Elevate. The rest could be slightly a toss-up. Obviously, Complexity, H2K, uh, they have they could possibly obviously qualify. Doug's team has potential to qualify. So it should be really interesting to see all these teams do. Like I said, uh, hopefully it's streamed. I don't know if it's going to be streamed at all. I don't know if any players will be streaming it. Maybe a couple players will stream it just for the heck of it. But if I was dumb, I probably wouldn't stream it just because... You know, I want, I want the most internet I can have, and I just want to stay focused. I don't want to have to worry about a stream, but it's up to them in the end of the day. Uh, hopefully, like I said, they do. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Just my thought on this whole roster mania and all these players, and my thought on the teams and who's going to succeed, who isn't. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been your boy, Apathy, and I'm out. Peace. What are you still doing here, bro? Get out of here.